Hi, I'm Doug Young, contributing editor with Acoustic Guitar, and today I'd like to take a look at three new capos. We'll look at the Kaiser K-Lever series of partial capos, the new page click capo, and the unusual spider capo by a company called Creative Tunings. So let's start by looking at the new Kaiser capo, which is called the K-Lever. Uh, believe it or not, that little intro sequence that I played, I was in standard tuning probably sounded like dadgad, and that's because I'm using a dadgad partial capo. Uh, this capo um, only covers part of the strings, as you can see, and what it's covering is the middle three strings, so that I get the effect of dadgad. Many of the things that I can play in dadgad, I can play like this without retuning the guitar. Uh, you've got your basic chord shapes like uh, a D and an A and a G and a D. At the same time, uh, I can play normal shapes up above the capo, like just a plain old bar chord, or I can play scales and not have to relearn the neck. So that's the idea of a partial capo. The four K-Lever capos are all color-coded. Uh, the green capo is drop D, uh, white is for open G, blue is for dadgad, which we just looked at, and red uh, creates an effect like double drop D if you capo at the second fret. The Kaiser capos are $40 list and $35 street price each. Now these names come from how these capos simulate an alternate tuning. Uh, they're certainly not the only way you can use them. I've just switched to the green capo, which is the drop D capo, put it at second fret, it covers the top five strings, and if I play a D chord, uh, I've got the effect of drop D with the low D string. At the same time, just like the dad get, I can play normal fingerings up above the capo and everything's cool. I can also move this around to different places. For example, I could put it at the fourth fret, and I guess it would be a drop C, because I could play a C chord and play a low C here for a big, rich sound. Now, of course, the interesting thing here is the K-Lever feature, and that's this little uh, control right here. What, what's that about? Well, the problem with many partial capos is it's fine if I'm trying to use the open strings or the strings above here, but what happens if I need the string at the point where the capo is, is across the neck? For example, an E minor chord. I might finger it like this, but this bass note's going to be wrong. It's going to be a D, and I need to fret this note here. Well, that's pretty awkward, and that would be pretty hard to do while I was doing something musical. So what they've done is create this nice little lever that pushes a pad down against the string and frets that note. So now I can play an E minor chord. I can play... And then... So it takes a little bit of practice, but it's almost the same as fretting that note. You just push the lever down instead. 